it can give us only one hydronium ion that is why it is known as a monoprotic acid now if you have if you have let's say like a nitric acid now when nitric acid is reacted with water again this is going to give us only one hydronium ion okay if i take ethanoic acid ethanoic acid is a ch3coh and if i react with it water again only one h3o positive is going to come so it becomes a ch3 coo negative okay but if i have an acid like h2so4 if it reacts with only one molecule of water it will give us an h3o positive and hso4 negative now if this hso4 is reacted with another molecule of water it can give one more h3o positive and so4 two negative meaning if i write the complete reaction like this the sulfuric acid combines with two moles of water it will give us two moles of hydronium ion and one sulfate so how many h3o plus has been removed one and two so a combination is out here of two okay so these are known as diprotic these are known as what now let's look at the triprotic acid okay triprotic acid would be an h3po4 okay let's look at one one step now i'll do one one step each now when it combines with water it is going to give us first h3o positive and h2 po4 negative one hydrogen has gone okay how many hydrogen sir one now when this h2 see one hydrogen comes here in the hydronium ion now if i react it with another molecule of water it is going to give me an h3o positive and hpo4 two negative so it has given me one hydronium ion two hydronium ion now this hpo4 two negative when it combines with water it is going to give us an h3o negative okay ah, h3o cannot be negative positive and a po4 three negative okay three so if i if i you know if i combine all of this and write okay like normal addition if i do if i do a normal addition what is going to happen dekhna theek hai this is cancelling with this this is cancelling with this so what am i left with h3po4 combines with three molecules of water to give us three h3o positive and a po4 three negative this is why it is known as a triprotic acid got it beta ha eh? where is priyanshu okay which step didn't you understand okay 
how many hydrogens are here? Here I marked with the arrow. That means you are not on my screen. You are somewhere else. Hmm? Okay. How many hydrogens are here? Three. How many hydronium ions are formed? A hydronium. This, what is the stoichiometry? Three. Remember, I had taught you in last to last class. When a hydrogen ion combines with water, it forms a hydronium ion. It forms what? A hydronium ion. Okay? Okay? So, we have our three out here. Now, if three hydrogens go from here, if three hydrogens go from here, what are we left with? And three, three hydrogen. Hydrogen is positively charged. So three positives have gone. So if three positives go away, out here three negative. Getting the point? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll make it like this. I'll make it in a tabular form. H three P O four. Okay. If I remove one H from here, what am I left with? And one negative. Okay. Now, from H two P O four, if I remove one H positive. What am I left with? Now it will become two negative. Because one more positive is removed. Now from here, I remove one more H positive. What am I left with? Aisha Bash. Okay. Now, how many, how many hydrogen ions could be released in total? And three is nothing but what? Try. H plus is also known as a proton. So, try protic acid. Now, is it clear? Hmm. And the same thing when you write it in the form of a reaction, it comes like this. Okay, when you write it in the form of reaction, what happens? It comes in this format. Okay, so pehle, first thing you do is you copy this one and then we'll come to the tabular form. Okay, so here we go. What is visible on the screen right now? So we have an H2 SO4, right? In the first instance, if one H positive is removed, then we have an HSO4 negative and from here also if one more H positive is removed then we will have an H S oh sorry another H is removed so SO4 2 negative so my dear Priyanshu how many hydrogens removed if two hydrogens are removed, then it would be known as what? Okay. Now, 
if we have if we have an acid like hcl okay now this hcl has only one hydrogen okay so if i remove the hydrogen it straight away becomes only h positive and cl negative no more hydrogens can be removed so what will happen it will be known as a monoprotic acid okay theek hai beta okay now you can jot them down now we shall do normal salts and acidic salts okay let's look at first a normal salt and what is the difference between a normal and an acidic salt we'll look at that now if we have a sodium and it reacts with an hcl what are we going to get okay nacl plus h2 now does this nacl have a hydrogen no in this nacl is there a hydrogen there no so it is a normal salt okay now let's say i react na with h2so4 and it gives me an sulfuric acid okay done now now beta now does this naso na2so4 have any hydrogen no so this is a normal salt but this reaction could have occurred in a different way altogether it could have occurred like this also Uh, y two control z n a plus h two s o four gives us n a h s o four plus h two. Okay, okay, beta. Now this. look out here i'm marking it with the yellow crayon can you see this with na there is what hydrogen and because there is a hydrogen out there it would be known as an acidic salt it would be known as what an acidic salt now i can Yeah, yeah, I can hear you perfectly fine, beta. Okay, now my NaHSO four can actually release this H plus. Since it can release this H plus, it is an acidic salt. Hmm. Okay, got this point, beta. ओके सो अब आप ये जल्दी से करें देन विल कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन लेट्स डू विथ फॉस्फोरिक एसिड यस एच थ्री पी ओ फोर ओके आई मेक द टेबल हियर एच थ्री पी ओ फोर अ वाइल अगो वी हैड सीन that if one h positive is removed what is left behind perfect and when one more hydrogen is being removed from here ai shabash and when one more hydrogen is being removed from here okay so po4 three negative now 
if my n a is like this n a is with h 2 p o 4 it is an acid salt it is an which salt because it has two h plus n more now if it becomes if it becomes n a 2 h p o 4 it is still an acid salt can you tell me why yeah and then in the last case like here in this case if it becomes an n a 3 p o 4 then what kind of a salt is it known as yes okay so please jot this down very fast So you can see a monobasic acid like HCl is there. Why is HCl a monobasic acid? Where did Priyanshu go? Yeah. Why is HCl, hydrochloric acid, a monobasic acid? And it will give all monobasic acids will only give normal salt. Okay, now, dibasic acids gives how many hydrogen ions? Uh, tribasic acids give how many that? Hydrogen ions? Three. And if there are hydrogen ions which can be removed from a salt, what kind of a salt is it known as? Acidic or normal? Shabash. So this chapter is over and I'm giving you an assignment which I'm sure, 100% sure that you will not do it because you are tired and there's a lot of work from school. That is the bad questions of this chapter. Okay, there are five or six back questions of this chapter. So would love you to complete it. Okay. End of chapter question. Okay. Okay, can be done or you'll be too tired to do it. <laughs> Chala then, bye. And no missing maths class, okay? Maths, I want to pull you up crazily. So, bye, beta. Take care. Same to you, beta. Pleasure.